what's going on guys moo 78 back at you with another american truck sim video this is my let's play series stories from the road upload this every tuesday and thursday hope you're all doing fantastic today by the way we are of course continuing our run up to page arizona these trusses go into hms machinery pulling the little uh knack flatbed still haven't changed the wheels out uh, blah, blah. Still haven't changed the wheels out yet. I uh, need to do that. Probably after I get done out recording this, we'll get those changed out. Uh, this isn't too bad of a little trailer. Just need some little tweaks here and there. Some map values and everything like that. Uh, not a problem. Now, if you watched the last episode, you, of course, know that I uh, finally got my SKRS shifter in. And uh, pretty excited about that. Been using it. Loving it. Cannot play this game without it now. But uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that course and uh this is on the new system uh, a few episodes back i talked about uh, i was gonna build a new pc that's all done now everything's been running pretty smooth so far and uh i talked a little bit about it towards the tail end of the last episode but uh i don't know what it is but it just seems like this system runs just so much more stable and just a little bit more smooth probably you know part of that's probably because it's you know brand new fresh install of windows all that good stuff but yeah it's just running pretty snappy pretty smooth so i'm pretty pleased about that uh, just you know kind of recycled my gpu if you will uh, still using the 980 ti classified love that gpu not really uh not really worth for me uh me personally to upgrade right now to like a 1080 or anything like that because the uh, cost to performance ratio that you know i would get just wouldn't be worth it to get that you know maybe 10 to 20 percent boost in performance just wouldn't be worth it right now so i'm gonna hold off and see if they come out with something like the 1080 ti you know later on this year or first part of next year and maybe look at upgrading then Man, we're going to be forever in a day getting out of here. But uh, the pricing right now is still kind of still kind of goofy with the NVIDIA cards. You know, the new Titan X came out, or some people are calling it the Titan XP. $1,200. <laughs> no. See if I can't nose out here a little bit and uh, sneak a spot in line. Because if not, we're going to be sitting here for about three weeks. And there's no traffic coming that way, so I'm not going to worry too much about uh, blocking traffic. The Champions Combat Series for Battlefield 4 is underway. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking any of that out, a uh, link to that website will be down in the video description. Might possibly get some uh, content from that up as well. Might wait until the end of the season. Post uh, post that stuff that, so that way you know teams aren't you know checking out our footage and you know kind of pick it up on strats and stuff like that you know during the season but uh like i said the last episode i'm playing you know quite a bit of pub so we'll definitely get some highlights and stuff of that up some fun rounds and whatnot played uh domination the other night for the first time and gosh i don't know how long that was a lot of fun it was a 32 player domination and if you you know don't know a whole lot about uh, the battlefield series Basically, domination is just uh, CQB, just close quarters uh, combat. It kind of crazy. It was on uh, Operation Locker, which made it real crazy. So it was a lot of fun, but uh, just kind of helped get get me back on point with uh, my infantry game, you know, aim, all that stuff. Your 
transmission uh, situation should be uh, taken care of now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, last episode, you know, I was all pumped, had the SKRS uh, all installed. And then uh, when I was setting some stuff up, I, you know, exited out of the game and got back in. And for whatever reason, it didn't save uh, some changes. And uh, the truck reverted back to a 13-speed uh, transmission. So got a little got a little hairy, got a little bit goofy there for a little bit. But uh, got it all sorted out now, so we are all good to go. Yeah, the SKRS that I got, I got with the Easy Jake. And I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. You know, like I said uh, in uh, the first episode, or the last episode, I'm sorry, that uh, when I first seen it online and looked at it, I thought, man, that, that's kind of bulky, but uh, it's kind of nice and the same, you know, because I wanted all that functionality to be right there on the shifter instead of, you know, having things bound to the G27 wheel and try to, you know, fumble around and, uh, you know, find my Jake brake or, you know, I was using uh, the directional pad on the G27 shifter for my range splitter and all that stuff, and that would get a little uh, cumbersome. But uh, now to have all that right there on the shifter, you know, like I said in the last episode, it's just like driving a real truck in that regard. You have all that functionality right there, you know, so you can kind of keep your hands on the wheel. You're not, you know, reaching around for this, that, and everything else. Just makes it a lot nicer and just makes it uh, honestly a lot more enjoyable to uh, drive the drive in the game now and it definitely you know makes shifting a whole lot easier It just, you know, shifts so much smoother now. I don't feel like I'm, you know, banging the gears in like, you know, crazy. You know, because with the, you know, stock shifter on the G27 wheel, whenever I, you know, shifted into gear, just, I don't know, just felt like it was going into gear real hard. Just, you know, felt like I was always slamming it into gear. You know, this just slides in buttery smooth. It's just so nice. I love it. I like it a lot. slowed down just a little bit too early, but that's okay. That is okie dokie. Don't do it. You can think about it, but don't do it. I just love how easy it is to go to high low now. I think we're doing yeah, we're doing good on lay fuel. Took our 10 hour break there at the end of the last episode, so we're good there. Got a bear over there, how you doing? Get out here and get our crew set and good to go. Yeah, back to the new PC for a second. Uh, one thing that I'm kind of doing different that I probably should have done on uh, other builds, and it's not anything special or anything like that, just uh, you know, making conversation, I guess. But uh, I got three different drives in the system. Got an M.2 drive, which I'm loving. This thing boots up like super quick. And that's where I got all of my, you know, of course, my operating system, all my programs on that. And then I got a hard drive, a, a WD Black, that I'm recording all my gameplay footage to. And then I got a one terabyte SSD that all my games are on. So everything's all split up. Whereas before, I just, you know, kind of had a hodgepodge of, you know, I had some games on the same drive as the operating system. Sometimes I would record to that drive. And then I had, you know, games on 
another drive and then games on another drive and just everything was kind of here and there and everywhere so a lot lot more organized in that regard on this and that easy Jake is just sweet I'm gonna just reach over and just hit the Jake and I'm gonna have to fumble around trying to find find what button I gotta bound to. You know, a lot of times I'd be, you know, doing stuff like that. Resume the cruise and keep heading east. Also, not putting a whole lot of stuff on this uh, PC either. Just kind of the basics, kind of what I need. But everything else is on the other machine, which was, you know, the main rig. So that's kind of nice. A lot more set up now than I was before. You know, it was before, you know, my main rig, what was the main rig, and the rig that I was using to uh, record and all that stuff. Again, that was kind of a hodgepodge. They both kind of, kind of had similar programs and everything like that. So, uh, you know, this one's, you know, this PC I'd have now, it's, you know, strictly, you know, kind of my gaming PC. And then the other one's more of a work PC. That's enough jibber jabber about all that. not flagging me to go in, so I'm going to keep on rolling. Just going to keep on rolling. And it's kind of nice being back in the 579. I really did miss this truck. Really like the paint job on it and how the uh, skirts look. It's got the epic skirt package. It's just a damn good looking truck. I've really uh, traveled on this stretch of road a whole lot. I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is part of the uh, MHA map. Up out here and get around these yahoos. Still really enjoy this map. Sun setting behind us there. That's pretty cool looking. Get the lights on. Welcome to Arizona. Hello, Arizona. So now we can kick it up a little bit. Logistic area. I I want to go investigate that one of these days. Never went over there and checked it out. 
I see it, I'm like, huh, wonder where that is. And just keep on driving. So the crew's about 70. That'll be that'll be a okie dokie. Ah, come on! Are you freaking kidding me? Cop gets up next to me. Then, as soon as he gets right next to me, slows down, and I damn near killed that car in front of me. Talk about your dick moves. Hopefully that's something they're working on as they uh, continue work on the rescale project is the AI and just some of the goofy shit that it does. I'm rolling straight through here so we can get it wound back up. The speed limit through here is 65 as we stroll through Kingman. It seems like whenever the AI acts up, it's never really at an opportune time. It seems like it's at the most unopportune time possible. And more often than not, you know, it seems like it always wreaks hell. It just wreaks all sorts of havoc. But all in all, we're having a pretty good run so far. No major issues to speak of. Got the SKRS all dialed in. Rocking and rolling that. Be on the lookout for uh, the review. Hopefully get that uh, out to you guys this week. I'll just kind of wait and see. Like I said uh, in the last episode, it's been a little bit crazy busy with uh, you know not just the YouTube and video game stuff. Uh, course real life stuff's just been kind of crazy busy and that's okay it's all good stuff you know this is just a hobby so this will you know this always kind of comes second of course got to have those priorities straight but I uh, do appreciate you guys supporting and uh, allowing me to continue to do this These last few months have uh, been pretty good. Seen a lot of positive growth on the channel. All the analytics and all the metrics and everything are going in the right direction. So thank you guys. sure what speed it is but it seems like the AI trucks are locked into a certain speed and even though the uh, thing down there says we can do 75 that's okay though you know I'm only doing 70 so I'm not out here you know tearing up the road but uh, moving along at a pretty good clip One thing I'm kind of curious to see with uh, the rescale is if the frame rates, excuse me, if the frame rates will be a little bit better, and they're not terrible by any means. Oh, I love that. 
the Easy J. That thing is just handy as all get out. I know I've said it over and over, and I probably will continue to say it over and over. Love this thing. Uh-oh. <sighs> Sir McYawns a lot. It's getting sleepy. Are we getting close to the destination? I think we're not too far away. Here in Flagstaff. I don't know if we'll get up to Page. I don't know. Looks like there's a rest area. Not too far from here. So we might go ahead and let this guy get a quick nap in and uh might make this a three-parter. This might just be what we do. Interesting. Little right over. Strange that it would be over there. I don't know. I guess we'll uh, check it out and see. White snake. <sighs> Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So that's the one thing I really, really do like about the MHA map is there are a ton of spots that you can stop and sleep. And they're not just kind of goofy like they are in the stock map where you pull into a you know, service station and you stop and you know take a break or take a nap or whatever at a service station. You know, this is you know seems kind of legit, I guess. Better than a service station, I guess. You got this little uh, lodge or whatever up here, so. Yeah. Alright, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stories in the Road. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, I'm going to cut on out of here. Stay safe out there. Take care. And we'll catch you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, follow the link down in the video description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, then be sure to check out my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link also down in the video description. And lastly, I upload three days a week, so be sure to check down below for my various content playlists for any videos you may have missed. Until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.